Beneath the waters of Hamlin Pool, a jellyfish swims among stromatolites, exactly as did its ancestors, the first animals, 600 million years ago. Stromatolites are rigid reef structures which grow very slowly, about five centimeters in 100 years. Coral reefs, by comparison, grow 10 times faster. Between the first appearance of life, about 3,500 million years ago, and the appearance of the first plants and animals, about 600 million years ago, stromatolites were the only macroscopic evidence of life on Earth. They are formed by communities of microbes that live on the sediment surface. These microbes are able to trap and bind sediment grains together to form cohesive mats. Under favorable circumstances, the mats then become cemented by calcium carbonate precipitated from seawater and a stromatolite is formed. Today, although microbes are everywhere, they rarely dominate ecosystems. Stromatolites are able to form only in unusual environments where the slow-growing structures can gain a foothold. Hamlin Pool, an embayment of Shark Bay, Western Australia, is one of only three known localities throughout the world where marine stromatolites still flourish. Stromatolites grow around the shallow margins of Hamlin Pool because a wall of sand, the foray sill, has partially isolated the embayment and its salinity has increased to nearly double that of normal seawater. This, coupled with the low levels of nutrients in the water, has controlled potential predators and competitors. These conditions have only existed for the past two to three thousand years. Ten thousand years ago, the area was dry land. Rising sea levels flooded Hamlin Pool about six thousand years ago. The first indication of increasing salinity occurred about 4,000 years ago, when a population explosion of the small bivalve Fragomirogatum began to dominate the ecosystem. The remains of these shells form extensive beach ridges around Hamlin Pool. In time, percolating rainwater cements the shells together. In the past, these deposits were quarried for building stone. With increasing salinity, stromatolites began to form around 2,000 years ago. They colonized the margins of Hamlin Pool to a depth of four meters. Beneath this depth, calcification does not occur and stromatolites cannot form. The level of the sea has fallen by about one and a half meters in the last 2,000 years. And some stromatolites have been left stranded in the intertidal zone.
Some are colonized by intertidal microbial mats. Others suffer erosion. In places, even the underwater stromatolites have ceased to grow and are being eroded. Generally, the stromatolites of Hamlin Pool constitute a complex and flourishing ecosystem, providing shelter for small organisms, a substrate for marine plants, and a source of food for fish and crustaceans. Although they are one of Australia's younger ecosystems, stromatolites provide a unique window, allowing a vision of what the nature of life was at the dawn of evolution.